Rakesh, this is Hai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn TypeScript interfaces in Angular and what is the importance of TypeScript interfaces in Angular. So actually speaking, today's class is not specific to Angular. It is something related to the OOPS concepts which is used in our TypeScript. So let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Before going to the concept of interfaces, let's understand about class. A class is an entity for a particular object some set of properties methods and logics so we can say like that and whenever we want to use these classes we'll create an object so for example let me create one extra class here other than our app component class so app component is also a type of class but what i'll do is i'll create utils.ts this is one file and also i'm creating something like service.ts so I have created these two TS files and let me write export class utils which is having a age property which is something like a string and which is an empty by default or let me give something like name instead of age I am giving name and let me use it utils and let me copy the same thing and paste in the service now let me point this to service here I am using this name property as service and let me save this and also save this so in this case what we generally do is whenever we want to utilize these utils or a service we can utilize them in two ways one is if you want to use only in the logical part then we can create an object for this and utilize let's do that so constructor constructor is the initialization part where we can create our elements so for example I am creating a name where it has a string and empty so in this case what I am doing just I am trying to create this dot name is equal to new and my object let me create an object for utils so utils of I created an object for this utils and then it is having a property called as name dot name and let me utilize this name in my app dot component dot html and let me zoom it let me remove this logic and use interpolation so already the name properties can be interpolated here and go here and you can see utils which is coming from your utils.ts file and in the same way if i want to use instead of utils if i want to use service and i can use the same way because it is also having a name property and let me reload here you can use services so that means we are reassigning one variable to another variable already we have the name property that is again we are assigning and creating that variable inside your app component instead of this we have the concept of inheritance so let me comment this this is one way and instead of using this name also just we can use extends keyword where you have you can achieve the inheritance concept whereas that utils will be extended to my particular class and in this case let me remove all this from my code and save this so here you can see utils and now whenever this utils is extended then we will be getting a name property the name property refers to the utils one so it will work as expected so utils without creating any new property for my class and in the same way if I utilize service then it is showing service this type of inheritance is a single inheritance that means a app component extending only one class so it is a type of single inheritance now in general oops concepts acquire a concept called as multiple inheritance that means two or three classes together but oops whenever you go with the java or angular or a typescript it doesn't support multiple inheritance i'll tell you why the problem here is if i extend both these utils as well as the service now we are getting the problem because classes on can only extend one single class that means typescript is not allowing us to use more number of classes and it is not allowing me to extend more number of classes the problem here is whenever both have the different elements then it will never give a problem for us but here in this case I am using a name property which already exists in the utils and also it exists in the service in this case app component will be in a confusion where which one has to be considered as a priority whether the name property which is inside the service file or whether the name property which is in the utils file so to avoid this confusion what 
TypeScript is doing it is not allowing to extend more than one class so in this case I can just remove this and even you can overwrite that particular values for example I am using a constructor inside this constructor let me use a super keyword this super keyword what it does is it will create an instance for my service and now I can use console.log of this dot name you can access the properties which are inside this service let me go here and inspect and now let me go to the console reload you can see service and this service can be changeable this dot name is equal to I am in child app component so I'll treat this component class as a child class so if you go here you can see I am in the child app component that means you are overriding the variables which are already declared in this service so that is how you can use the extends to make it simple extending more than one class is not allowed in TypeScript so in this case what we are doing just we are creating a types for our particular classes and we are extending them in this we don't have any logic that means we are creating an abstract for a particular instance so in that case we can just create a interface where you can implement lot of interfaces at a time instead of using this utils as a class let me convert this into an interface so export interface interface is a keyword to create the interface i utils and this i utils what we can do just we can use name property which is of string type and let me give age property which is of number type and then let me create the same type of interface inside my service so let me rename this into service and here also I am giving a different property only name let me go to the TypeScript and just extends I utils and then I service so let me import this but instead of extends we need to use implements so now I'm I'm trying to implement these interfaces now I got these interfaces and I don't want any of these values so now if you go to the interface what we are telling is app component incorrectly implements interface I service property name is missing in the type app component but required in the type I service that means whenever you are giving an interfaces it is expecting some values to be initialized or assigned by the child component now in this case we have abstract properties as name and age that means it is declaring the variables and the usage and the values can be assigned by the app component itself so in this case I can use name property which is of Sai Kumar and also one more property is there which is like age property if you see age it is missing in the I utils if you go here it is missing in the I utils but let me comment this out now it is missing in I service that means here already I utils has the name property I service is also having the name property but if the same property exists for two interfaces it will take either of the one so it is checking whether I service or app component whoever is having that means an I service is having a name property utils is also having a name property so it is taking either of the one it is merging the two interfaces and it doesn't have any problem in merging that why because two interfaces can have same properties and if you consider the same property is also they don't have any values they have only the type declaration so that is the reason it will not give any problem for us let me give name is equal to Sai Kumar and let me give age is equal to 20 and let me save this in this case what we are doing is just we are defining the interfaces and that interfaces are declared at the interface level and initialized at the component level and if you see here there is something problem here utils and has no exported number so let me quit this and run again so it has been compiled successfully and if you reload here the Sai Kumar the name whatever we are assigning here that is injected in our component so to make it very simple interfaces are something where you can declare some values or the variables or the functions and you can give the definition for them in the respective classes so you can declare any properties any functions in your interface and you can utilize in any of the components or in any of the other classes by using interfaces we can achieve multiple inheritance and also if you want to extend two interfaces you can do that so to make it clear like interface common let me use common interface 
and let me make it the name as i common and which is extending i utils and i utils extended into i common and i can use i common here in this way also it works the same that means i common will have only one common interface and one interface can't implement one more interface that means you cannot use implements you cannot use implements for extending one interface to another interface so you can use only extends and let me give comma let me use i service so you can extend multiple interfaces but you cannot extend multiple classes so let me save here so i common will have i utils properties i services properties and if you want to give any specific properties which are used only in the i common then you can give them and that will contain all the properties of i common i utils and i services so this is how we can use interfaces to make it the bullet points one class can extend only one class a one class can implement n number of interfaces one interface can extend n number of interfaces hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you